Believe it or not, making bone broth at home is as easy as brewing a cup of tea. Yes, you heard that right. Bone broth, a staple in many traditional diets, is not only delicious but also packed with a multitude of health benefits. This simple yet nutrient-rich liquid is made by simmering the bones and connective tissues of various animals. The beauty of bone broth lies in its simplicity. With just a handful of ingredients and a little bit of patience, anyone can whip up a batch of this healing elixir right in their own kitchen. Imagine savoring a warm homemade bone broth that not only tantalizes your taste buds, but also nourishes your body from within. Intriguing, isn't it? Now you might be wondering about the specifics, the ingredients, the method, the time. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Stick around and you will become a bone broth expert in no time. To get started, you only need a handful of ingredients, most of which you probably already have in your kitchen. First and foremost, you're going to need bones. You can use chicken, beef, or fish bones. The choice is yours. It's best to use a mix of marrow bones and bones with a bit of meat on them. This will give your broth a rich, robust flavor. Next, you'll need water. It's crucial to use filtered water if possible, as it will be the base of your broth. Then comes the vinegar. You might be wondering why vinegar? Well, it's not for taste. The acidity of the vinegar helps to extract the nutrients from the bones. Apple cider vinegar is a popular choice, but white vinegar will work just as well. Now let's talk about optional ingredients. These are your vegetables and herbs. They're not mandatory, but they do add extra flavor and nutrition. Common choices include onions, carrots, celery, garlic, bay leaves, thyme, and parsley. Feel free to experiment with your favorites. And lastly, don't forget the salt. It's essential for bringing out the flavors of your broth. You can adjust the amount to your taste. With these simple ingredients, you're already halfway there to creating your homemade bone broth. Now the magic begins. It's time to transform these ingredients into a nourishing bone broth. Let's start with roasting the bones. This step isn't absolutely necessary, but it does add a rich depth of flavor to the final product. So preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and spread your bones out on a baking sheet. Pop them into the oven and let them roast for about 30 minutes. Trust me, the smell alone will be worth it. While the bones are roasting, let's get our pot ready. Take a large stock pot or a slow cooker, whatever you have on hand. Pour in enough cold water to cover the bones. We're using cold water because it helps to extract the flavors more slowly and thoroughly. Next, we'll add a splash of vinegar. Don't worry, your broth won't taste like vinegar. The acid in the vinegar helps to pull out all the nutritious minerals from the bones. You can use apple cider vinegar or white vinegar, whatever you prefer. Just a small splash will do the trick. Our bones should be ready by now. Carefully transfer your roasted bones into the pot. They'll be hot, so be sure to use tongs or a spatula. Once all the bones are in the pot, it's time to bring our broth to life. Turn on the heat to get things started. We want to bring our pot to a gentle simmer, not a rolling boil. A simmer is just a few bubbles rising to the surface every few seconds. This slow, gentle cooking is what allows all the flavors and nutrients to meld together. Now comes the part where patience is key. We're going to let this simmer for several hours. Yes, you heard right, several hours. But don't worry, it's mostly hands-off time. You can even let it simmer overnight if you want. The longer it simmers, the more flavorful and nutritious your broth will be. During the first hour of simmering, you might notice some foam or scum floating to the surface. This is completely normal. Just skim it off with a spoon and discard it. This will help to keep your broth clear and clean tasting. As your broth simmers, feel free to add in any additional flavors you like. Some people like to toss in a few cloves of garlic, a sprig of rosemary, or a handful of chopped vegetables. It's completely up to you. Just remember, the simpler the better. We want the deep, rich flavor of the bones to shine through, and there you have it, your bone broth is slowly coming to life. Patience is not just a virtue, it's a necessity when making bone broth. Now we've come to an essential part in our bone broth journey, the waiting game. It's not just about simmering the broth, but simmering it for an extended period. This may seem like a daunting task, but it's a critical step that we cannot skip. Why, you might ask? Well, it's all about extracting those precious nutrients from the bones. When you allow the broth to simmer gently over a long period, it provides ample time for the heat to slowly coax out the goodness from the bones. We're talking about minerals like calcium and phosphorus, valuable amino acids like glycine and proline, and even collagen, the protein that gives our skin its elasticity. But it's not just about the nutrients. 
This slow simmering also imparts a depth of flavor to the broth that quick cooking simply can't match. It transforms the mixture of water, bones, and vegetables into a rich, savory broth that warms you from the inside out. So while it might be tempting to rush this process, resist that urge. Embrace the waiting game. Use this time to read a book, watch a film, or simply enjoy the enticing aroma wafting from your kitchen. Remember, good things come to those who wait and bone broth is no exception. After hours of simmering, it's time to add the finishing touches to your bone broth. The first step to perfecting your bone broth is straining. This process separates the liquid gold from the solids, leaving you with a clear, nutrient-rich broth. To do this, you'll need a large bowl and a fine mesh strainer. Carefully pour your broth into the strainer, allowing the liquid to collect in the bowl below. And don't worry about any small bits that might escape through the strainer. They add a rustic charm to your broth. Now it's time to get creative. Making bone broth is not just about cooking. It's about crafting a blend of flavors that satisfy your palate. You could consider adding a dash of turmeric for an earthy touch, or perhaps a sprinkle of rosemary for a hint of aromatic freshness. And of course, don't forget the classic salt and pepper duo to enhance all the other flavors. Once your broth has reached the perfect taste, let it cool. Store it in glass containers and refrigerate. Your homemade bone broth can stay fresh for up to five days in the fridge, or you can freeze it for longer shelf life. With this final step, your hours of patience and dedication bear fruit. You've not only created a delicious, wholesome broth, but also a health elixir that will nourish your body from within. And just like that, your homemade bone broth is ready to nourish your body and soul. In a nutshell, making bone broth is a simple process that reaps great rewards. Let's quickly recap. First, we gathered our essentials, bones, vegetables, herbs, and water. Then we assembled everything in a pot, letting the ingredients simmer together, creating a harmonious blend of flavors and nutrients. We waited patiently, allowing time to extract the goodness from our ingredients. Finally, we added our finishing touches, straining the broth and adjusting the seasoning to taste. Now let's talk about why you'll want to make this a recurring part of your routine. Bone broth is more than just a comforting savory beverage. It's a powerhouse of health benefits. Consuming bone broth regularly can lead to improved digestion. It's rich in gelatin, which aids in the lining of the gut and supports digestive health. But the benefits don't stop at your stomach. Bone broth is also excellent for joint health. It contains glucosamine and other compounds that support the health of your cartilage and joints. And let's not forget the immune system. Bone broth is rich in minerals that support immune function. It's the perfect nourishing brew for those cold winter months when you want to keep your defenses strong. So why not give it a try? You might just find that making bone broth is a rewarding and health-boosting new hobby.